its pinpoint. In this video, we will convert hexadecimal numbers into binary numbers. Hexadecimal or hex is a positional number system with a base of 16. It uses numbers from 0 to 9 and letters from A to F. And each hex character represents a 4-bit value. While a binary is a base 2 number system using numbers 0 and 1. For our conversion, let's say we have 36F hex. And convert it to a binary. The first thing we do is we write 36F. Giving each character enough space. Then convert any hex value into decimal. 3 in hex is equivalent to 3 in decimal. 6 hex is also 6 in decimal. Then A corresponds to 10. B corresponds to 11. C corresponds to 12. D corresponds to 13. E corresponds to 14. And F corresponds to 15. So this is 15. The next step is to convert these decimal numbers into binary numbers. So this is 1, 2, 4, and 8. 1 for 2 raised to 0. 2 for 2 raised to 1. 4 for 2 raised to 2. And 8 for 2 raised to 3. This is also 1, 2, 4, and 8. And another 1, 2, 4, and 8. And 3 is the sum of 2 and 1. So these are 1's. And we don't use 8 and 4. So these are 0's. So 3 is equivalent to 0, 0, 1, 1. The next we have 6. 6 is the sum of 4 and 2. So these are 1. And we don't use 8. So this is 0. And we don't use 1. So this is 0. So 6 is equivalent to 0, 1, 1, 0. Next, we have 15. 15 is the sum of 8, 4, 2, and 1. So, these are all 1s. 15 is equivalent to 1, 1, 1, 1 in binary. So, 36F in hex is equivalent to 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 in binary. And we can omit this too because leading zeros before non-zero numbers are not significant. And for our second example, Let's say we have 1, C, E, D, X, and convert it to binary. First is to rewrite the given, giving each character enough space. Then convert them into decimal. So 1 is also 1 in decimal. C is equivalent to A corresponds to 10. B corresponds to 11. C corresponds to 12. D 
D corresponds to 13, E corresponds to 14. So this is 12, e equivalent to 14, and D is equivalent to 13. Then we do the doubling method starting from right to left. So this is 1, 2, 4, and 8. 1, 2, 4, and 8. Another 1, 2, 4, and 8. And 1, 2, 4, and 8. Then... 1 is just 1, so this is equivalent to 1, and the rest is equivalent to 0. So 1 is equivalent to 0, 0, 0, 1. Next is 12. 12 is the sum of 8 and 4, so these are 1s. And we don't use 2 and 1, so these are 0. So 12 is equivalent to 1, 1, 0, 0. Next, we have 14, and 14 is the sum of 8, 4, and 2. So these are 1s, 1, 1, and 1, and we don't use 1, so this is 0. So 14 is equivalent to 1, 1, 1, 0 in binary. Next, we have 13, and 13 is the sum of 8, 4, and 1. So these are 1s. And we don't use 2, so this is 0. 13 is equivalent to 1101 in binary. So for our final answer, 1CED is equivalent to 0001. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. 1110 and 1101 1, 1, 1. and we can omit these three zeros because leading zeros before non-zero numbers are not significant so for our final answer, we have 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, binary. And for our third example, let's say we have C, A, F, E, 8, 9, X, and convert it to a binary number. So for our first step, rewrite the given, giving each character enough space. Then next is to convert them into a decimal number c corresponds to okay we have our a for 10 b for 11 c for 12 d for 13 for 14 and f for 15 C is equivalent to 12, so this is 12. A is equivalent to 10. F is equivalent to 15. E is equivalent to 14. And 8 is also 8 in decimal. 9 hex is also 9 in decimal. Then next is to do the doubling method starting from right to left. So we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. 1, 2, 4, and 8. 1, 2, 4, 
eight another one two four eight for each decimal value okay then we'll get the binary equivalent 12 is the sum of 8 and 4 so under 8 and 4 we put 1 and we don't use 2 and 1 so these are 0 so the binary equivalent of 12 is 1 1 0 0 next we have 10 10 is the sum of 8 and 2 so we put 1 under 8 and 1 under 2 and we don't use 4 and 1 so these are zeros so 10 is equivalent to 1 0 1 0 in binary next we have 15 and 15 is the sum of 8 or 2 and 1 so these are all ones so 15 is equivalent to 1 1 1 1 in binary next we have 14 and 14 is the sum of 8 4 and 2 so 8 4 and 2 these are ones we don't use one so this is zero so 14 is equivalent to 1 1 1 0 in binary next we have 8 so 8 is just 4 8 okay so we don't use 4 2 and 1 so these are zeros and we do use 8 so this is 1 so 8 is equivalent to 1 0 0 0 in binary and next we have 9 9 is the sum of 8 and 1 so these are 1s and we don't use 4 and 2 so these are zeros so 9 is equivalent to 1 0 0 1 in binary and for our final answer c a f e 8 9 x is equivalent to 1 1 0 0 one zero one zero one 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 zero one zero 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 one zero zero one in binary so that's how we convert hexadecimal numbers into binary numbers thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and tap the notification bell to be notified every time i upload a new video